In an interview with Playboy magazine, whatever that is, Ben Affleck said that if he knew any Republican actors, he probably wouldn't like them. Meanwhile, Katy Perry, whoever that is, said she didn't let her parents watch her sing at Obama's inauguration because they're Republicans. None of this is mind blowing, just instructive. First, it shows the danger of lockstep, enslaved to the ideology of the group. It creates a barrier to critical thinking and you avoid having to listen to competing thoughts, Bob. More important, it shows that the high priests of the religion of tolerance, i.e. celebrities, are its key violators. That's because only they can be the good guys. Not voting for Obama, that's not wrong, that's evil. So you're out. Sorry, mom and dad. This fits perfectly with the velvet rope of exclusion that celebrities pine for. Once you find fame, the adopted liberal politics give you the illusion of intelligence that you crave. And your targets of criticism are never people you actually know. That keeps your beliefs protected and cool. And that's what it's about, being cool, a concept based on roping the shiny and insecure off from the rabble. Those excluded are anyone not living on the coast, people with boring nine to five jobs, stay at home mobs, church types, southerners, mom and dad, people who go about their lives doing their best without the luxury of nannies, yoga instructors or shrinks. They are America mocked. They're also the same people who buy movie and concert tickets, but not for long. Bravo. Thank you, Dana. <laughs> you weren't even listening. Hey, uh, let's talk. It. Let's talk about Ben Affleck. He's slightly taller than you. Um, isn't what he's saying kind of true about everybody in some way or another that we like to create a bubble against yeah. those people that we disagree with? Yes, except for um, when you are forced out of your comfort zone yes. and you have to talk with somebody that you might not necessarily agree with, you can be pleasantly surprised. What I wrote down here was one of my great memories of the past couple of years was taking the train back to D.C. with Bob every Friday night when we first started The Five. It was like for five months, we, every Friday night we'd go back and we would say, they better understand that we're not moving to New York and we would have, but we would talk about all sorts of things, politics and yeah. all the rest. And I thought we would look at each other afterwards and say, oh my gosh, how did you get to be, how could we both be this, of the same species? And you be, you think so differently than I do, but we ended up being great friends. And so I think Affleck is cutting himself off from a lot of joy that life can bring of diversity of opinion. Well, the, Bob, that's a, the yes. point that she's bringing is an interesting one, which I brought up before, which is the allegiance to teams and what that does. It actually said you may never have met or worked with Dana if you had stuck to your team. Well, you know, it's interesting. I, you know, I was a political consultant for 20 years and I would work. I mean, I'd be up against Republicans all the time and I got to know them as we went along. Ed Rollins, uh, Lee Atwater, go on down the list. And and they became friends of mine uh, because we were in pitch battle together. I do think it, it is absolutely true that when you cut yourself off, I mean, if I cut myself off from Republicans, I couldn't be sitting in this chair. Except yeah. with Eric, I could cut off from that. But outside was, of that, was Lincoln really a nice guy? Too? He was a good guy. He was a good guy. And let me tell you something. I covered the second Lincoln uh, inaugural, and and it was very very good. The Gettysburg Address was not quite as good did as you it sounds. Write that? Or yeah, no, no, I didn't. You, but you but the Gettysburg Address was not nearly as good as it sounds now. Gotcha. Do you think yeah. though, Eric, that the right are more forgiving? than the left when it comes oh. to, when it comes to like uh, ideologies <sighs> I, mean, I, I, not, I, have, I don't know no yeah. maybe not maybe yeah. maybe there's there you know that that whole spectrum of the right maybe far right's not but here's the thing I think these guys do themselves a disservice Sean Penn Ben Affleck anyone who's who's very who's an actor half the country is red yeah half the country is conservative and when you talk like that you really alienate the, the, your your potential yeah. audience but i'm all for it listen free speech knock yourself out have an opinion have an opinion i don't care if actors have opinion i don't care if athletes have opinions mm. have an opinion state your opinion i like to know where you stand on stuff yeah the interesting thing andrea is a lot of their opinions uh, and this is not an original thought for me but that it's almost kind of an adolescent kind of thinking because they really weren't involved intellectually in anything except becoming famous and now they feel a little guilty so now they go f to crusade on mm -hmm. issues and they're kind of i don't know well they think fresh, they're, they're like freshmen in college right they pride themselves on yeah. well the sophomores right just yeah. a little bit of knowledge <laughs> yeah. makes them think that they're <laughs> yeah. that's the definition of, of sophomoric what i don't understand is this question was posed to ben affleck on republican actors so he's looking at people in his own domain yeah. in his own industry and he's saying i probably wouldn't like them well Okay, I actually think, to answer your question, Eric, Republicans are a bit more forgiving. I mean, I don't think Ben Affleck is that great of an actor. I still have watched his movies. Connie Britton, who's a huge raging liberal, we have a picture of her. She's on Friday Night Lights in Nashville. Mm -hmm. 
I love her because she's I went a great to Africa actress. with her. I mean, I don't Ooh. look at Connie Britton and I don't say, <laughs> "Oh, I don't like her. I'm not going to watch." But that's that an show. interesting thing about her because we, so we went on this one campaign trip to Africa together, and we all we met at JFK Airport. We get on there. I didn't know who she was. She didn't know who I was. And we had now you're living great, together. We had this great <laughs> conversation. We spent a week together traveling to different places in Africa. I think she's amazing. Now, the the one campaign that uh oh, you know, I thought you I was going to say what, what no, race yeah, you Yeah, it was doing? interesting. But it wasn't until we landed that I realized who she was and she knew who I was. But we didn't talk about politics the whole time. I think the can I just make one thing to correct? The, the, yeah. uh, Greg, you always say, say the people who voted for Obama were from the coast. Yeah. Uh, I know. Let's remember, 60 million voted That's for him. That's true. Good point. I, Good. I think the point is that I was trying to make, if you look at actors like that, like yeah. the, the Ben Afflecks and the other, I don't look at him and think of his political beliefs. Yeah. That's but, what I was trying to say. And also, look at his if, he's a, if he's a crappy <laughs> actor, which he is, I kind of do And also, sometimes. Connie Britton is, uh, is the... Major, it's the lead star of a major show that crosses both parts. It's not political at all. Nashville takes place in the heart of country music. All right, speaking of music, we have to bring this up. Katy Perry, this is the, I think this is the worst example of politics over personal that you will ever hear when you sacrifice your family for your Man. ideology. She looks great there. Yeah, she but does, um, she chose Whoa. politics over her parents. That, she's a jerk. She wouldn't even, she's have, a jerk. She wouldn't even be there without her parents. That is true. She's just, you know, she's just talking about like her parents are going to say, oh, I'm not going to watch you perform because you're wearing, well, didn't she wear the, uh, the ballot with Obama's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The vote checked on yeah. Obama. By the way, Bob, how many that? people voted for Obama? 60 million. 50, 50, 50, how many, so that means 250 million did not? No, no, no. Okay, that, you know point. why, Eric? Because you can't vote I if you're three Bob. years old. I just want to get you in on that. I know you guys you. would like to have that for you right-wingers. But uh, the, uh, first of all, I don't know who this woman is. So <laughs> I have no thoughts about it. I've never heard her from her before. Okay. No, seriously, I never have, except she's a good-looking babe. The song, yeah. Roar, Hear Me Roar. That's her. Roar uh, this. I love her. Yeah. I buy her music. I don't care if she's a Republican or a Democrat. I do think it's a little weird that she assumes that everyone knows my parents are... Republicans. Yeah. She talks about it like it's a dirty word. Who cares? Let them watch you perform with the president. They're not. I, that's clearly open minded. I thought she was, she's closed minded. I think I thought that was disgusting. I do. You I know, the more I talk disgusting. to liberals, though, the, the, the more strongly I feel that I'm right in my conservative views. Could we could we run the that's pictures true. of her again yeah. so I can decide if I do know? No, the other one. Keep going. No, keep going. No, that's not. Keep, uh, keep going to a couple others there. That, It'd be important. Green dress. Yeah. No, 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 not that one. one. All right. It's another one. <laughs> they took the banner down. We're, uh, we're, see we're building up Bob's mental bank <laughs> for later. Thank you very much. <laughs>